So if you want to do a basic multiplayer 3D game in Java, then maybe this tutorial is a good starting point for you. I will show you how you can achieve it and how you can set up JMonkey Engine in order to implement some basic network stuff that you will need to create a 3D multiplayer game. If you have JMonkey Engine installed on your computer, you can just download my basic multiplayer example and just look what I have done so far. Um, but let me at first explain uh, what was the idea behind it. The idea is the following. Um, every multiplayer game needs a server and several clients running in parallel. So um, there's one server and this server runs a thread and this thread is something that executes its code every 50 milliseconds. So about 20 times per second. So what is done exactly? Um, if a client moves, the client sends its position and its rotation of the player uh, to the server. And uh, this information is stored in the server and this thread that periodically runs every 50 milliseconds gets the positions and the rotations of all clients, puts it into a client list message that contains all positions and rotations of all clients and sends it to every client. When it comes here to the client, then the client again sends its new position and rotation. And this is done um, about 20 times per second uh, all the time. So um, all the clients get um, the updated positions of all the others. So the basic idea behind it is the following class diagram. Um, there is a main server and a main client both extend a simple application that is a, a basic class in JMonkey Engine and we got some uh, attributes and methods that are necessary for us and I tried to um, design this class diagram with as few classes as possible. So um, you can see here's the thread that sends the list to the clients and here are some interfaces that we have to implement and I implemented it in the classes directly. I thought that was the better idea to keep it in a more uh, better view that is uh, that has a better overview and um, of course here's some client data that is put into the client um, list that was sent by the thread and we got some messages um, that are sent between the server and the clients. So these are close messages if a client leaves, these are uh, the client list messages we've already told about and the position and rotation message that the client sends to the server. So this is the basic um, design of this um, basic multiplayer example that I uploaded to GitHub and in the following I will show how I implemented it and how you can use it to design your own game. So let us at first start with the main entry point. This is main.java. In my case um, this was just um, a placeholder and that lets the user choose if he wants to start a server or a client. So if you provide um, an argument when starting from the bash terminal or command line then it starts uh, the client and if um, you just call java minus jar main.jar then it starts a server. It's important that you have to use jmecontext.type.headless in order to run a server without a GUI or without a display because the server doesn't need something like this. So when we start it um, without providing an argument it starts the server and prints out the IP address so this IP address can be used to connect the client to the server and this is done exactly now. No problem, we could run another client on the same machine and voila, there's the other client and this client can see the first client that was connected to the server too. 